have this, I think, very toxic combination of economic sluggishness, political insecurity, and popular, really popular despondency. Pulling no punches, Editor-in-Chief of The Economist, Zanny Minton Beddoes, detailing the challenging global economic environment in her opening address to a packed room on day one at Super Return International 2016. Is that we are at the beginning of a huge wave of technological disruption. Put together big data, put together computer power, put together all the things that are now called the third industrial revolution, machine intelligence, artificial intelligence. We're seeing, and, I, and I'm sure you see it in every industry you invest in, a wave of disruption that we are, I think, closer to the beginning of than the middle of, let alone the end of. So how will the industry weather the stormy conditions and disruptive influences? Six of the leading figures in the industry joined the very first live streamed session from the conference to discuss the challenges they face and how the industry is evolving. Key challenge, you know, it's getting more transparent, it's getting more competitive, there's more money in the market, we all know that. At the same time, I'm absolutely convinced that private equity, and that's our business here, you know, will get increasing opportunities. From our perspective, you know, on one hand, I think uh, loyal and long-term relationship to ILPs, you know, they make our business work. Uh, secondly, you know, being close to the market, pick your battles, um, and uh, in the end, I think what differentiates us is really, you know, how to create value with your portfolio companies. I think that's the that's the name of the game. Co-founders of Generation Investment Management, former Vice President Al Gore and senior partner David Blood believe that sustainability should be at the heart of future strategy, with both the investors and the planet reaping the eventual rewards. Uh, the rising prominence of sustainability. Uh, within the investment marketplace is clear evidence that this conversation uh, has been advanced uh, quite a bit. And do the very best people want to come to work for you because of it too? That is certainly true. That is certainly true. Uh, and that's true not only for investment managers uh, who commit themselves to fully integrating sustainability into their model. It's also true for some of the businesses we invest in. Uh, who get inquiries from the best and brightest uh, graduates of business schools and other institutions who, who want to come to work for a company where uh, they can make a good salary, but uh, equally, if not more important to them, is to have the feeling that they're working for a firm and with people whose uh, values are, are high, uh, who share the values of these uh, idealistic young people, and who are about more than simply making money. I, I think that's undeniably true. That's a hugely optimistic outlook for you, well, isn't I, it? Well, I, I, I think that's just the way this, the, the world works. I think it's particularly the way this millennial generation thinks. You must feel good about that. I do. Everything you believe in is coming uh, together. I, I, it's thrilling, actually. But while some are embracing new models, are others burying their heads in the sand? EQT's Thomas von Koch describes it as the knowing doing gap. So I'm just amazed about how paralyzed big companies are, and actually companies with their own industry when it comes to what they see is happening, they know it's going to have an impact, and they're not doing anything about it. It's like a fear factor, and That's it leads to short termism, is what you ex say. Exactly. And they're going to be caught by the evilness of change because they will not be able to conquer their own destiny. They're going to be just be a, a function of, of, of disruption. So a shifting landscape and an industry that needs to adopt a long-term view and look for positive change and transparency. I think transparency was always important, but what we now did is of course to highlight it and to emphasize it even more and to, to, to address it in greater detail in our guidelines. Is that a reputational shift as well, if you like? Does the average man or woman on the street see a change in private equity because of that transparency? Yes, I mean, that transparency, of course, how the industry is perceived by the general, by the general public, that is, of course, a joint concern to GPs and LPs alike and something that we are addressing as Invest Europe also quite a bit because, indeed, in the past, the industry was not very transparent if it came to communicating with the, with the more broader public. So a content-rich day one at Super Return International 2016 for the 2,000 leading figures from the private equity and venture capital world attending this year's conference with countless opportunities for the highest level conversations. Plenty to digest before another packed agenda on day two.